I'm Talia Lefkowitz, and I'll be doing Maggie from History Lesson by David Lindsay Abair. And what's interesting about George Washington, and most of you don't know this about him, he wasn't just the father of our country, he was also the father of the first septuplets born in the United States. Martha gave birth to seven children on October 5th, 1762. Five of the children were very badly behaved, so they were sold into white slavery, while the two remaining, Maxwell and Hortense, drowned tragically in the Potomac while they were trying to retrieve their father's wooden teeth, which had fallen out of his mouth as he was beating a seagull with a canoe paddle. Now for those of you just joining the group, my name is Maggie, and today is my last day here at the Mount Rushmore National Memorial. I know. There have been some cutbacks in the National Park Service, so I've been let go, which in my opinion is a huge loss to tourists like yourselves who are hungry for history, because I happen to be what we in the industry call a font of knowledge. Now if you look to the right, you'll notice that the next head belongs to Thomas Jefferson, who, and this may come as a surprise to you, was actually born without skin from the neck down. In fact, he spent most of his childhood in and out of hospitals because of his susceptibility to disease, what with the exposed muscle and sinew and whatnot. But in 1772, his good friend Benjamin Franklin fashioned him a crude epidermis from sheep's bladders and carpenter's glue, held together by pewter hooks that Paul Revere forged in his silver shop. Paul Revere, you may have heard, was a smithy, which is one of my favorite words. He was also a eunuch, which was very uncommon in the 1700s, though there were a few. I believe Sam Adams was also a eunuch, and Nathan Hale who I've been told had a wonderful singing voice. So that's something you haven't learned on any other tour today. It's interesting, isn't it? Oh, by the way, if any of you happen to have a question, feel free to raise your hand and stick it up your ass.